So what's up everybody, my name is Samsung Gusas and today I'm just going to show you how to get this very sweet girl on Photoshop CC I'm on 17 now but you can use any Photoshop So I'm going to show you how to get this sweet girl with this nice hair This sun kissed light effect Actually it came with the picture so I'm just going to show you how to smudge paint it and have something really awesome done So if it's your first time of coming to this channel Don't forget, don't forget like I would always say to smudge the subscribe button Smudge the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram at Amstrugusas On Twitter, follow me on any social media you can think of I'm not sure I'm in all of them But you can also just follow me and then I'll join that social media network So without further ado, let's dive right into it Okay, so this is Photoshop CC17. I actually like this Photoshop a lot. Yes, I think there are other ones, but this was the one that was most compatible to my system and I got it in 2017. So since then, I've been using it and um, it's not like I'm afraid of change. I just have stuck to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is pretty much cut out the background of this image that I can always do. So I'm going to cut out the background and fast forward it. Remember, I'm just going to cut out the edge. There was a video I did on how to cut out beards, how to cut out the hair. So. Um, I'm going to just cut it out and with the hair by and don't forget my resolution is in let me show you image go to image go to image size and this is that's where you see the resolution my resolution is in 96 and then I'm going to cancel you can see that this image is not so 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 clear it's somewhat blurry when you zoom in but it's not a bad image so I'm just going to do it and I'm going to fast forward to when I'm done cutting out when I'm done cutting out the image from the background don't forget I'm using Photoshop CC 17 and don't forget I'm using the pen tool to cut out don't need the magnetic lasso tool or whatever the pen tool gives you a good result so I'm just going to do that and fast forward it play soft music and I'll meet you in a GP Okay, so I'm done with selecting it. I'm going to press Ctrl Enter and Ctrl J. Well, I've done a lot of beginner videos, and I think a lot of people should have gotten the hang of it already. But still, for those that have gotten the hang of it, for those that are following the channel and have gotten the hang of it, congratulations. For those that are just joining us, if you are just seeing my video online for the first time, congratulations too. You can as well just join in the class, it's never late. So I'm not really tired of showing people how I really do these things because I learned, so I want to teach. So the next thing I want to do without wasting much time is to go to okay first first of all I want to reduce the highlights a little bit a little bit on the reduce shadows so I'm just gonna come here and reduce the shadows just I don't know just add a little shadow on it so, so that the shadow will not be too strong and then you reduce the highlight a little bit now what this is going to do is it's going to give you this little cartoonish look different now it's going to take away the realism realism or whatever it is from the picture so that is one very big tip you want just don't want to ignore then i want to make the image sharp very sharp then i'll press it actually duplicated here you remember it's contributed to duplicate it and i'm just going to come here and press go to vivid light now the attribute i chose vivid light i'll go to filter go to order and go to high pass i do this almost every time i do my youtube videos but i'm not tired of it so just don't get out of watching it i'm going to press ok and now these two layers there's this one on top vivid light can you see it and this one below that's normal this is normal vivid light i'm going to press ctrl e to merge the both of them together now you see then if i show the difference before now you see it's a lot sharper because we're going to use oil paints and other things on it so i want it to get a lot sharp so that's what i've done now now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out the different parts of the body now what i'm what i'm going to do is cut out the hair cut out the face cut out the shirt i want to make them different components because i want to work on them individually then as a whole they're going to give me a nice result I'm going to cut them out individually and then we can work on them. So with that being said, just listen to the soft music as usual. I'm trying to keep this tutorial very very short so that so that you can have a lot of you can just watch at least at least 20 minutes and then we can get something really awesome done. So I don't know if I can I can really not promise about 20 minutes, but let's dive right into this thing.
okay so what we basically did is to cut out the different components of the body and i'm just going to show you what we did it's not like it's complicated i know some of you will be if it's your first time coming to this channel you will be like wow what am i cutting out well i just i just cut out the different components of the body just watch just watch so i'll come to this thumbnail and i'll click here and then you see this matching ant around the hair this body axis so i named this i'm just gonna name it now body i'm just gonna name it body and then this is the hair so i'm just gonna name this if i click it you see hair it's just selected only to place that the hair touch so i'm just gonna name it hair and then for this is a shirt so you can see it too shirt so i'm just gonna name it shirt so that's what we have and i think it's pretty much awesome if you're working on a hair that's really really scattered i'm not sure you can pick out the different strands you can take as much time to pick out the different to pick out strands as much as you can or if the picture is really clear then you can use background eraser tool to erase the background and you have something really nice done i can i can assure you so that being said i want to do some other things now from this body i'm just going to cut out there are different parts there are very different things in the body that i want to use oil paint on now the main reason why i use oil paint on these things is not because i can really not do it yes i can really not do it so the main reason i use oil paint for these things is because first of all the eyebrow and then the eyelashes and what else what else there are some parts of our body that um, they need they need to be taken care of by the computer itself now the computer has a slick way of doing his thing so you just want to let let him have his way or let her is a computer a male or female i don't know i don't know i've never thought about it before so you just want to let let the computer have his way and do his thing and the computer would always come up with a better result so i'm just going to cut out the eyebrow here because it has a lot of distractions except you want to have um, a, an, a smudge paint where it that does not really look as neat and as sweet as normal so if you want to do that then it's okay but then if you want to have a nice result i think you should just definitely look for a way to work with oil paint somehow i think photoshop cc20 um, allows oil paint to virtually work so i think you might want to try that out it's actually a very good photoshop that i i would recommend because i've seen a lot of people work with it like i said i'm a cake so it's not like i really work with it i see a lot of people work with it and i'm like oh this is so nice but i can't do that Stand. so that's very that's very fine so i'm just going to fast forward cutting out these different parts and i hope the last music was nice i hope you were not bored if we're not bored so let's let's see this one let's see how this goes okay so very very basic thing i did it's not like it's anything complex i just cut out the different components of the body the hands the watch the eye blush and then the eyebrow eyelashes or whatever and then i'm going to straight over to photoshop cc cs6 now the reason i'm going to photoshop cs6 is basically because of oil paint that's the only thing i work with on some of the uh, on the hair and i'm just going to show you how i do that and i'm going to take this video over to photoshop cs6 I actually like Photoshop CS6. I do. It's not like it's better than any other Photoshop. It's just that it's unique in its own way and it lets you with a lot of flexibility with a low compressor. If you have if you have a very very nice system, it still lets you do a lot of things. So I'm just gonna go to filter Photoshop filter and I'm going to oil paint. Now just notice it's not like I have any figures that I always use. I just work on a particular image till I get something nice done. Now the stylization makes it sleeker. You see it's sleek. 
it's like it's really really falling like a woman's hair which she is and then the cleanliness just makes the whole thing neater and but the only thing it does is one of the things it does is make it makes the edgy the edge like this it just makes it unrealistic that's how i feel so um i'm just i always try i always um, thrive to not if if it's possible i just don't want to make the cleanliness so high but sometimes you really need it so this was what i was talking about what we had before what we have now what we had before what we have now you see it's looking slick already and if you made it to this stage congratulations you can go out and stretch your body and come back and finish this tutorial you have to just finish it so this is the eyebrow of course here i'm just gonna of course increase the I just like making things sharp so that when I want to work on them, it's going to be a whole lot easier. Now you can't see the effect because this body layer is on top of it. So you need to know, learn how to control the layers and I'm going to put it under here and you have seen the effect of the linear light on it. You can use either linear light or vivid light. I'm going to go to order, I'll go to high pass. Now I'll press OK and I'll merge the both of them together like I've been doing. Then I want to just oil paint it right now and I'm going to oil paint. Now oil painting it is just going to, now you notice something. This doesn't look like a realistic eyebrow. It doesn't, even in movies. So I'm just gonna take that the cleanness and it has become somewhat realistic a little bit. Then by reducing stylization, you notice that it has this little roughness that we need in, a, in an eyebrow. Like right, no eyebrow is 100% neat. So I think it's nice before and now. So I think it's nice. So the eyelash, I'm just gonna, of course, make it sharper. You can as well just leave it like that, but I just prefer to make it sharper because making it sharper will just make the whole thing pop up and make it a lot nice. By the way, you should be saving as well as while you are doing what you're doing because it's CS6, so sometimes it really crashes. I don't know if it's the same with other people's system. Like I'm not a really, really I'm, I, I think I'm into tech. I like I like new gadgets, but I'm not really techy guy, so I don't know why it crashes. Maybe it's because of my system processor, but it does crash. That's that's the bottom line. So one little trick here: you have a tattoo and you don't want to probably duplicate the layer. You can also just select it, and of course go to the layer where it, where you are where you are selecting, and of course don't make sure don't forget to save and go to the oil paint. Now when you oil paint it, it's going to select that particular layer and oil paint this particular axis where you have worked on. So I can turn that stylization or increase it and press OK. Now you see the difference. Of course, to on the select is Ctrl D. So I'm just going to show you the difference. See, before and now. So this is nice. It's nice. You might not really see how nice it is, but it's really, really nice. So I'm just going to save it and go to Photoshop CC 17 where I like working now. So CC 17 is where I'm going to do all the heavy lifting, smudge and other things. But the first thing I want to do before I forget is to... Now, I want to show you something. Now, zoom into this place. And you notice that things, the pictures are is pixelated, like it's not really, really sharp. So what I want to do is to go to image size and increase it from 96 to 300 pixels. Making it to 300 gives you this control. It has a lot of feel, control to the whole thing. Now, it's in 300 pixels. You see that the picture looks a lot compact and it's actually very, very, very nice. So one thing I usually do is to merge everything that concerns the body. Now this is the body, the eyebrow. I've selected with shift and the eyelashes. I'll select it too. And press Ctrl alternate E to merge only the selected ones. Now merging the selected ones is really, really nice so that you can as well just blot out the edges like I showed in the former video. You can click it click the link up and see how I worked on the guy with beards. You might I swear have those kind of issues which you might want to check. So I'm just going to press Ctrl J to select another layer to, I'm just going to press Ctrl J to choose another layer and come over here. The next thing I want to do is to go over to smudging. Now I'm not going to leave this video to just keep working on the whole day. I'm going to have to fast forward it. Well, as I actually have a video on how to smudge your um, pictures from scratch like the brush I use it's a, it's a custom made brush that I I would always hit on my videos I, I had to look for this brush for a long time for almost two years I was looking for the brush I actually found it lost but found found my missing love so I'm just gonna fast forward to smudge 
you can check the all the videos i've talked about i'm sure one will be very handy to you so i'm just gonna fast forward it i play very slight slow music so just nod your head watch what i'm doing and have fun Now, some things I might not have told you about, but I really want to tell you now, is the fact that the reason I made all of them together was so that I could blot out the edges. Like, for example, if it was not joined together, for example, this and this, you notice that these are two different layers. This is one eyelashes, and this is hair. Now, watch what I want to do. If I work on this like this, you notice that I'm not. It cannot. It's not working on the layers. It's not. I cannot blend these two surfaces together so but if i work on this that i match the both of them together and i could come on the edge for example you see that it's working on the edges of it i can come in here and blot out it blot it out the way i want so that's why i match them together that's number one tip you need, really need to know and the second tip is to always create a clipping mask so i'm just going to duplicate this and create this clipping mask now the easiest way to create a clipping mask you can come right click and then you go to create clipping mask or you can the fastest way is just to press hold and alt and then it shows should i click a clipping mask on that okay you can click okay and then you have it so that's it and i'm going to fast forward right to the end of the smudge painting and if you have any questions don't forget to write me on at amshungosas on instagram or check my previous videos and i'll be very glad to help so that being said let's catch a coffee
was recommending in my previous video on how to smudge but not if if, if you're not if you're not on youtube now it's okay you can still watch this and what i'm basically doing is just using this brush that is going to be in the link in the description below and smudging over this place or these places and i'm sure you like it definitely love it so just it's like you're just cleaning over it to just make it smoother than normal and these lines i'm making sure they are very very much intact because you can have a distorted image she has a big mouth she has a bigger mouth she has a big nose than she normally has and if you're doing it for a client i'm not sure the client would want that so i'm sure you want to just keep all these things intact so that when they see they're like oh this looks like her this looks like him and then that's that so take your time don't rush like i'd always say and you get something really beautiful done so this is what we have now you can just keep cleaning and cleaning it and before the before the tutorial runs off i'm going to make this image a lot brighter and neater but for the sake of this tutorial i don't want you to come and meet a 99 million mr tutorial so because for the sake of the tutorial i'm just gonna fast forward to smudging the shit to smudging the shirt and the hand and that's just basically all and then i'm going to come and give you some little details please make sure you watch this to the end okay so this is what we have i'm not taking too much time to you know to keep cutting it out and smudging it because it's going to be an awfully long tutorial video i just want to keep it really 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 short so that's what i'm really doing now just probably going to work on it later but this is what it looks like so now to adding colors of course like my previous videos i would always add colors by the way if you are not seeing the effect of your smudge it's probably because you are smudging on the wrong layer so don't forget to always smudge on the right layer so like my norm is i'm going to select this eye layer eye color eye layer and then put color over the eyes and I'll do that to the lips. I'll do that to where else has color? Probably the wristwatch. This wristwatch and yeah, the shirt. So how I do that is this. Sorry, I was just talking and I was working on it. How I do that is this. I'm just gonna select the eyes with the pen tool, and then I'm just gonna select it. I press Control Enter to select that particular place, and with alternate and backspace. I'm just gonna select the color of the eye. I the eye is a little bluish. I want to make it a little bluish because it's it's a cartoon image, a smudge painting. So I think it should be a little bluish. Make it look, yeah, it looks looks like a human being, but I want it to look a little bit unrealistic. So this is this. Then I'm gonna select this and press alternate and back backspace still, and come to from normal. I'll go to attributes and choose color. So this is nice. It might not look like so much difference, but I think I like it. I like it. So. I'm just gonna click it. I want to change the color a little bit. I think that's too harsh, so this is good. I'll deselect it, and of course, this is what we we'll have. But I'm just gonna choose this eye color that's a little bit brown, and paint over this iris part. Don't is that called iris? I don't know. I don't mean like Flash's girlfriend. I mean like. Pipu. I don't know. I don't know if that's what it's called. If I if I'm a medicine student here, I don't think medicine students will be found here. But if I'm a medicine student here, tell me what it is. I don't know. I really, really don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna choose the brush tool and paint over this place. The part is part of the eyes usually very red, so not very red, but it's obvious that there's blood there. I don't know, I don't know what that's called, but so i just work on it i really don't know to have to know the name to work on something really nice so i'm just going to paint up the lips just in case you are just coming for this youtube channel for the first time of course the way i work on it is to create a new layer here and clip it to the previous one so everything will be confined to that uh, the everything will be confined to the face i'm going to put color on the lip here and of course it's not something tedious now put the color on the lip here I'm just gonna choose one color from this part that's a little bit bright and of, of course alternate and bas backspace I'll come to choose color here and well this part looks nice I don't think I like this part I want her lip to be a little bit reddish so I think this color is better but I think this part looks a little bit darker of course she now there's a little thing I learned from as an artist um, when you have harsh light you want to have a cool shadow so 
anytime you see harsh light you want to have a cool shadow so i'm just going to add this little reddish part to her lip maybe maybe to give her red lips so i'm just going to add it here this reddish part to her lip here this part here to her lip so that it will come out nice you can always turn off the layer you have and then check out what you have now and just try to compare them because they don't have to be 100 percent the same thing that's why it's art just give us the concept that now this is how it is and i'm sure it will be very beautiful now i've done this this is lips color and then this is eye color now the next thing i want to do which other color should i add um i said for the wristwatch so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna come down here and Control and click the layer. I'll select this particular layer for the wristwatch. Click another layer for here and go to attribute of no, not saturation color and press authentic and backspace to set to give it a color. Okay, so I really don't like this color, so I'm just going to choose another color. I like this cool color, so I'm just going to give it this color and press Control D and then. Uh, what's the next thing to add color on? I'm going to add color on the next thing, which is the face. So I'm going to call it to hair. This is watch. It's a good practice to always name your layers. Trust me. Now I want to add color on the face. Now she's in the sun. You remember, sun kissed. So I'm just going to choose one of the bright colors or something medium here. And alternate and backspace. I'll choose it. And come here and press um color. Uh, this is what we have. I'm not feeling too much. I feel like it's too saturated. So I'm going to take it down a little bit. While I'm checking it up, I'm using all the backspace to check what I want. I think this is too washed out. So this is not bad. Yeah, this is cool. So this is cool. I think this is really, really cool. And I'm going to give her hair a different color. So I'll go, go down to the hair we cut out before. Remember, I said you should leave it the hair layer. This is the hair layer. I'm just going to choose it here and turn down the color of the previous one. Then choose a predominant color. Which what color do you think is dominant here? So I'm just going to choose this color. This color. I'll choose this color here. And I can, on top of the face layer, quit on that layer and name this hair color. And then alternate and backspace to delete it and i'll choose color ctrl d to deselect and this doesn't look really bad i'm going to check it out um i don't think i like that color very much i think i might want to choose one like this so i think i might want to choose a color that's not so saturated and nope i'm just going to select this layer and click it i think this color is better now the next thing i want to do is to choose a color for the shirt as well so everything gets to blending now it's going to look like a very very normal shirt or normal picture until you add colors to different places then it starts to pop up like art you know so selecting the face now i can as well just put colors on the eyelashes this is eyelashes so i'm just going to put colors here I have a video, I have a complete video on how to add colors. You can check my previous videos and okay, this is one of those videos, but I'm, I don't want to make this very long. So I'm just going to cut down all the really, really big ex excesses. So I'll turn this off and pick this color here, maybe a color from where I want to add colors to. So this, pick a color here and then alternate and backspace remember we'll select the lady areas we want to add the color on or else photoshop would this we just or else photoshop would assume that we are working on all the layers so the next thing i want to do is the eyelash eyebrow just the eyelash so eyebrow bro okay this is it so eyebrow we come up here create a new layer for bro and then and choose the layer and then delete it as well and come here and choose color so i'll deselect it so what else do we have actually the image is not 100 percent needs but you can take as much time to make it neat now the last tip i usually do when i'm working on things like this is to see the flat color of the hair then choose this highlight color here and 
this is the highlight color i can choose it here create a new one here the brush tool i can make it 60 or 50 rather and then come over to this place and give it this little color variant i'll choose color little color variant to make it still look catchy if you have any issue about the color you can as well just check out the previous i'm not about to say video i'm just about to say the previous color under underneath i mean like turn this off you turn that off and then you turn this off and you notice that there's red you notice that there's yellow here yellow here yellow here yellow here and this part and all the parts that you think they're yellow you just have to add this yellow contrasting look to give it this sweet feel so that's what i'm going to do right away and i'm just going to fast forward it a little bit and then add the colors to all the parts and then get back to you in a jiffy Okay, so this is what we have now i think it's very beautiful and finally i'm just gonna blend in this eye color this lashes color the bro color that all these highlights so i'm just gonna blend everything in i'm gonna do that with of course the speed video so i'm just gonna choose eraser 70 and just block all this thing out uh, when i get to the edges i can just make it really sharp or oh, and then when i get into the picture i mean like the bro the color here this is the bro i'm working on and this is the color when i get here i can just make it 20 and then clean out the edges and make it smooth and make it look realistic so i'm going to do that with the eye i'm going to fast forward this video a little bit and uh, i'll meet you when i'm done cleaning it out okay so this is what we have and it's very 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 beautiful so the final thing i want to do now this picture is actually very very nice so i just don't want to add so much mid tones and highlights I'm going to duplicate this of course and clip it back here i don't want to add so much mid tones and highlights i'm just going to work on this and now watch this i'm just going to add a little shadow here shadow to this part now i want to make it realistic you know we took out the normal um color that came normal natural color so i want to make it look like an ad that and that's why i'm adding all this place but i'm not i'm not touching the highlights right i want to make it look nice and just you can just keep working on it and add some little shadows here to show the light falls this way then you add a few shadows here just just to make the whole thing look nice and realistic and you can just keep doing it and working on it if you're not tired you can keep working on it of course da vinci said no art is truly finished it's just abandoned so i'm going to have to abandon an art because right it's a youtube video so we want to just get going now when you want to add highlights add this now if in case you are confused sorry this is dodge and bond now bond is to make it darker as you can see in this video here darker and the dodge is to make it brighter so there's bright here so what i want to do next is to choose dodge and choose highlights there's mid tones and shadows shadows um just makes the really, really dark parts bright and mid tones make the normal parts a little brighter and highlight just makes everything bright very very bright so i want to make 
um, add a highlight of maybe 10 exposure of 10 and touch this place work on this place a little bit so it's, it's very obvious that she's been in the sun so i'm going to make this 30 the exposure 30 and add this little drop on her nose that comes with i'm going to zoom in a little bit add this little dot on her nose and then do this work on the nose here you know i'm giving her the highlight and this and i just want to give her this little catchy look you can also just come on this place and add the no this is shadows it's supposed to be highlight so i'm just going to choose highlight highlight i want to make it 20 and just add this part now for the hair watch what i want to do i'm going to add this part to show that light is coming from this part and make all these parts really really beautiful now there's this thing that highlights does to a hair like this it makes all these edges sharp when you make all these edges sharp it will come out very very nice and somehow the eye it just becomes sharp and the eye is drawn to all these details and it comes out very 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 beautiful so that's that so this is what we have and i think it's nice it's nice by the way i know this is the first time i'm not talking about the the person i'm working on her name is dorothy maybe that's because i was trying to make this video really really fast and i was trying to sound official well this is my real self coming out at the end of the video because i know if you stay to this time you really really liked the video so don't forget to like and don't forget to leave a comment can you imagine i'm not talking about leaving a comment please leave a comment it's gonna help us a whole lot so this is what we have now we can like i would always say you can keep working on these things and have something really nice done but because of the video i like keeping it short and i'm going to keep this one short too so you can add highlights to where you want and of course make the whole colors blend in that's what i'm working on the hand now make everything blend in with what you're doing and the shirt as well you can just come here to the normal shirt color now the reason i duplicate it is because um, in case something happens in case i don't like the highlights i just worked on i can also just take it off later and it will be very nice so and um, that being said i'm just going to increase the highlight a bit and work on this shirt you can give her patterns to the folds of course make it look realistic just take your time out I, I saw a lot of indian guys that do these things and they take a lot of time they just work on it and it comes out very beautiful you're like oh my god it's so beautiful that's for the ladies the guys are like oh that's nice that's nice they want to use this deep voice so after doing this for the sake of this story i'm going to keep it really short and i'm going to press ctrl shift alternate e that's going to merge all the visible without the background now what i want to do is to take this down i want to merge everything before this i put it in a new layer i turn this off now i want to show you something this is how it was before this is how it is now before now see it has popped up and it's looking like a cartoon effect already so if you got to this place congratulations you made it this far kindly give somebody a high five you can give your mom or your dog a high five it's gonna be really nice but lastly i want to come here and come to liquefy now i usually liquefy this part because cutting it out um it reduces it removes the Now I want to liquefy it because cutting it out actually removes the normal picture pictures edges, you know, because there were strands here before. So what I want to do is to, you know, to make everything look alike and give her this dramatic, give this hair this dramatic tone, you know, to make it look like they were they, are, they were together, you know. So that's just the basic thing I'm going to be doing. Just give her this dramatic tone here in her hair to make it look nicer. And this part that the other part made us ignore, we can as well just we can take this part out a little bit, you know. So it's going still going to give us somehow somehow a little bit drama. So this part now that's what I'm basically doing. I'm just basically making the whole picture merge. You know to make it look nice well you can keep doing it and if it's not nice by you you can just you know always go back it's not like it's it's compulsory now so 
and this is what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, just blotting out these edges. I want the whole hair to be uniform, and I really, really don't like what I did here. But notwithstanding, you can always add, you know, probably a little light flare or something to always distract the eyes and not make your eyes go there. So this is what we have now, and I'll show you the difference. Now this was what it was before, what it is now, and I'll show you how it was before and now so that you see the difference when we create it now i just made the previous layer below and you see this now before now before see so one looks a lot more organized and this is this new one we just worked on so this is very nice you can also just pick a background Or you can also just choose this background i want a background with light so probably with anything that has to do with the sun so that it comes out very 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 nice and it will give this realism to what we are doing and make it look nice so so this is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to just i'm just going to increase it a little bit so you see the nice feel so i'm just going to put it behind this and this is it it's it actually looks too much too saturated so i can try others i think the other backgrounds okay this background i can try this as well and try this type background you know you can just work on different backgrounds and check what what you get and see if it harmonizes what you want so if it doesn't you can keep working on it and have something really nice done so I think yeah, this was an amazing tutorial of how to have a sun kiss picture. Remember we left the details untouched and remember we smudged, added colors and worked on the hair. So in case you have issues working on the hair, you can as well just always try this out. And I'm sure it might not be the best, but you can keep working and have something really, really nice done. And then with time, you become an expert. So this is Amshuksa signing out. Don't forget to like me. No, 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 like me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Amshungusas on Twitter and what have you and I'm meet you in the next video don't forget to stay creative bye